Hello my friends, welcome again. So in this video I'm going to make this uh, dependent drop down with a live wire. So here we have a category and if I select cars I want to display the subcategory for cars or for example here we have electronics and we have laptop and PC and I want to display the child category dependent on the uh, subcategory we choose okay so I'm going to open the VS code and open the terminal I'm going to create a live wire component and I'm going to say uh, dependent category okay and say no close this one and uh, now open the live wire dependent drop down here dependent category here and i'm going to add a public dollar sign categories one for the subcategories okay and uh, one more for the child public child categories and we need one for the selected category and by default it's going to be null and one more for the selected subcategory and this one is going to be null and I'm going to create a method for the Unmount and I'm going to say this categories is going to be the category all and then you need to import the category model okay and here i'm going to create a new method for the updated selected category the same category here and if we update the category I'm going to check if is not null the Select that category and I'm going to say this subcategories is going to be subcategory where Category ID is uh, this category we have here and get
Uh, same thing I'm going to do for the update selected subcategory and this selected subcategory now here we can say child categories is going to be child category where subcategory ID and get okay hit save and I'm going to go to the views and when we have the listings here we have the create and we have a category here I'm going to copy this one also the subcategory here and the child and cut this one and I'm going to create new a div here with a class grid grid called six and gap six and here I'm going to add the live wire and the name is dependent drop down no, that's where you had live wire here and dependent category. Not drop down, but category. Hit save and open now this one. Dependent category and select all and paste this one. Hit save. Uh, We need one more div. And if I save and come here, refresh. Yeah, we have this. So I think we need to go to the create and copy this one here, paste in this div and save and now here we can say we can remove this div. Ok, hit save and refresh, yeah now yes, we are ok. So here we have the same thing and now I want to, when we click in the dependent in the category here, select, I'm going to add wire model and it's going to be selected category and for that we have all the categories here now in the next one we need to say wire model for the selected sub category and we have the sub categories here and the last one is for the child categories okay but uh, we have an error if I refresh now yeah because we 
don't have categories. And I make categories here. Hit save and depend the categories. Mount. Okay, save and refresh. Now is the next category, subcategory, because we not updated the category, so the subcategory is empty. For that, we need to make and check if we have a sub or if we have a category selected category. So at this one, we need to add if is not null the selected category cap and paste it here and if I save now we have the child category error Oh yeah, selected a category like this, and now we have the child categories what I said, and I'm going to do the same thing for that. So if is not not the selected sub category. We need to pass this here and save refresh. Now we have only the electronics here. You see, we don't have, we don't show the others. So if I select cars, we don't have any, but we show the subcategory. If I select solid electronics, we have a subcategory for PC and laptop. And if I choose laptop, we display the child category and we don't have any child category for laptop. So here child categories, a new one, name it. Uh, and I see this for the laptop child category, we need uh, HP. Both. I'm going to say and uh, some random image go here and select electronics PC laptop and we have HP here if I select uh, PC now we have able okay friends this is how we can uh, make a dependent drop down in the next video, I'm going to do the same thing for the country, state and city. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.